disappointing was it to lose to penalties on Tuesday? Um, yeah, it was pretty gutting. I think most of the boys know that ourselves and the manager said that, that um, we went out there and put a pretty dominant performance in against obviously a very top side and to come away with the loss is pretty heartbreaking to be honest, especially the penalties as well. It was just it was a tough one to take for the boys but um, we did take a lot of positives from the performance. The league is very tight so far this season. Do you think it's an open title race? Yeah, I would say so. Um, there's been a lot of upsets already, as you've seen. Um, Celtic getting beat as well and a lot of teams doing well. So, yeah, I think from the first few games, it's, I don't think anyone expected what's happened so far, but it just makes it that more exciting for all the teams round about. How tough a place will it be to go to St Mirren and, and get a result? I think. Um, yeah, I think it will be tough. St Mirren have always been a tough side, even especially when I've played there myself. I know what they're like, so um, uh, it's something I've never done before in my career is go to St Mirren Park as the opposing team, so I'm quite looking forward to that. But um, yeah, I think we've seen from the performances I've had, especially when they play Celtic at home as well, with the new manager, um, I think there'll be a team that will be right up for the up for it because the new manager, managers come in, they'll want to impress him and they'll think they'll have a point to prove. So I think it'll be a pretty a, a tough game, but I think we can go out there and with the standards we've got, go out and get the win. Is it going to be a slightly surreal experience going back to the St Mirren? Uh, probably, yeah. Um, I've always kind of looked forward to the day that I would return and it's probably a lot sooner than I thought, to be honest, and to be on the opposite side will be a little bit weird, but I'm kind of looking forward to going back to St Mirren because it's a place I've loved playing, growing up there, playing as a kid, going through all the ranks, and to go back there and play against it will be, be good. Jane, you'll need uh, to maybe like get changed, taken into the, the away dressing room, you don't want to walk into the home dressing room? I, I don't, I'd be very, really, I've been into the home dressing room, I think last time I was in the away dressing room, sorry, is probably cleaning it when I was a kid, so um, it will be kind of weird walking into the other, the other changing room for once, but yeah, I, I can't wait really, I can't wait to go back and see all the staff that I've seen, that have seen me grow up as well and see hi to them again and just enjoy the day. And what do you make of St Mirren at the moment? Of course, we've got a new manager, took a uh, point off Celtic, pretty impressive opening result and then maybe a disappointing result last week, what you kind of made of, of their season? Um, I think obviously when the new managers come in, they're, they're going to be a team that are going to want to impress him. I'm pretty sure a lot of the boys will want to try and get their name in the door to, to start every week. Um, so I think there'll be a team out there looking to put in a good performance for them. And plus, obviously they'll take a lot of um, positives from the game against Celtic. I watched the game, they had a very good game and got a very good point against them. So I know they'll, they'll be quite disappointed with the result last week. So that's why I think they'll have a, a very big reaction. And for them, the best way to do it is obviously at home. So it just shows you that the, the, the game to, and tomorrow is going to be a very tough game. You touched on the disappointment of, of going out on penalties to Aberdeen. I mean, what was that like for, for yourself? I mean, missed a, a spot kick yourself and, and I get bottom missed it as well. I mean, is there going to be an, a rally and a round the, the team to the guys who missed the kicks? Um, yeah, but I think, the, the, well, most of the boys have already said that it took guts to go up and step up and hit the, hit the penalty. I know myself quite I was disappointed for missing. Um, I'm sure Thomas was too. So, but all the boys know that we could have had the, the game wrapped up in 90 minutes. Never mind extra time. Um, I think that's why we did get a lot more uh, disappointment because we know how well we played. The manager even said himself how well we played, and he was very impressed with our performance. So, um, that's what makes it even tougher because we feel like obviously the 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 wrong team went through, and like we felt we could have obviously went through, and it just shows that. No matter how well you play, it's just about the win, and that was that was the kind of disappointment thing because we we thought we should have went through because of our performance, but it just wasn't to be on the day. It's becoming a more clinical side, the the area that Hibs maybe most need to strengthen in or most can strengthen in to potentially take them to the next level. Sorry, say again. Becoming a, a more clinical side, of course, had a, a lot of chances against yeah. Aberdeen, dominated the game, probably should have won on, mm. on the balance of play. Do you think maybe becoming a more clinical side when, when you're on top in games, finishing teams off, is is that the area that maybe Hibs need to improve in the most? Um, I think it was just maybe like one of the games that just nah, no matter how well we played, it just wasn't going to the back of the net. I don't think we have to definitely strengthen that side. I think obviously you're going to win, you have to score goals. and. I think the full team know we had a lot of chances going from the back to front. We had a lot of chances to see the game out, and just it was one of the games that just the ball wouldn't hit the back of the net, and it was just a frustrating game to play in because we knew how we were playing at the time. Um, 
it just that just wasn't to be. Even in extra time as well, with a couple of chances. So it just we know that um, how well we play and how much attacking football and the amount of goals we've already scored this season that. Attack, going attacking wise, we, we know we're up there, one of the best in the league with what we've got um, going forward. So I think it was just one of the games, it was just one of the days that we just wasn't getting the back of the net. And, but I think we've got a lot of frustration from that game, and I'm pretty sure we'll take that into Saturday and get the win.